Hello guys, I welcome you to the tutorial series on artificial intelligence and today our topic is depth first search. In the last lecture, I have covered breadth first search with examples. So if you have not already gone through it, I am giving the link in the description. Go and check it. Okay. So guys, don't forget to subscribe this channel and also share with your friends that will help them to understand these topics of artificial intelligence. Okay, so myself, Dr. Dibos Dibora, let's start today's class. So depth first search algorithm. The first step says that visit the adjacent unvisited vertex, mark it as visited and display it and push it onto the stack. And here the adjacent means, you know, just the node connected to our current node. So we need to visit the adjacent unvisited vertex that is not yet visited and then after visiting it, mark it as visited and push it onto the stack. Then step two, if no adjacent vertex is found, pop up a vertex from the stacks. So in the case when no adjacent vertex is there, you need to pop up a vertex from the stack so uh, if you guys i think already know about uh, stack in stack we have two operations push and pop push means inserting an element to a stack and pop means deleting or removing an editing uh, element from stack okay removing an element from stack is known as pop so and you know stack follows what first in last out order or I can say, say last in, first out. Now step three says that repeat step one and step two until the stack is empty. So at step one, we have visited unvisited adjacent vertex. In step two, if no adjacent vertex is found, we pop up a vertex from the stack and it will pop up all the vertices from the stack which do not have adjacent vertices. And step three is the repetition of step one and step two until the stack is empty. Well, let's consider an example that will help you to understand these steps in a better way. So this is the graph say S A B C. So about the adjacent vertex, I'll tell you that for S, now A, B, C are adjacent and this is say our stack. So our first element is S. Okay. The first step is what? I am just pushing this S to stack. Now it's adjacent are what? In this, in this path, suppose I am taking considering this path. So A, so what I will do? I will push a to the stack okay and you know in stack we have a pointer known as top and that is pointing to the topmost element now for a adjacent is d okay s is already visited but adjacent now unvisited adjacent node will be d so we'll pushing d to the stack okay then for d the adjacent nodes are either B or C. We can take any part. Either you can go this way or either we can go this way. So suppose I am considering this way. So I am pushing B to the stack here. So top is pointing to B now. Current top element is B. Okay. Now, as B has no unjust, uh, unvisited adjacent node, so what we need to do? We need to pop up an element from the stack. So we'll pop B now what we have d as our top element now you know d has another this unvisited adjacent node c so we'll push c here okay now when we reach c that you will see that c doesn't has any doesn't have any unvisited adjacent node so now we'll repeatedly pop up the elements until the stack becomes empty so first element that we have popped up is b now from c b c d a s okay b c d a s this is our depth first traversal of the graph clear so guys now what happens 
if you go through this um, graph i'm considering say another example this tree why the term depth first search depth in case of bread i have explained that why bread first search term is given to this algorithm now depth first search here you will see that we are concerning only to depth towards one part this is depth isn't it so we are moving more depth to a path so that's why the depth first search see this graph if we conduct the depth first search here how we will move a to b a to b b to d d to h then e i z then what these are okay so c f k z like that so we are just concentrating on the depth of one part so that's why the term depth first search do one thing you just come in the depth first search for this tree i'll check it okay so guys today we have discussed one more important algorithm that you will find everywhere and it is a very popular algorithm of blind search technique in artificial intelligence that is depth first search so the analyze means what we need to find out the advantages and we need to find out the disadvantages of the first search so advantage means what memory requirement is modest needs memory to store the path from the root to the leaf nodes as well as the unexpanded nodes so for a state space with a branching factor of b and a maximum depth of m then how much storage the first search will require the first search will require storage of b into m that is bm node so the storage requirement or memory requirement is modest and the time complexity of the first search is also bm in the worst case okay so that is the advantage or these are the advantage of the the first search now coming to the disadvantage if the first search goes down a infinite branch it will not terminate if it does not find a goal state yeah you know suppose i'm considering this branch this particular part now it is ended with h but suppose one case it is not ended it go goes repeating means after h we have another node i then after the i it is connected to one more adjacent node j similarly goes on to an infinite set what happened the first search will stuck to that exploring those unvisited adjacent nodes isn't it so that will imply what an infinite loop so that was one disadvantage that is i wanted a disadvantage of the first search now second if it does find a solution there may be a better solution at a higher level in the tree therefore the first search is neither complete nor optimal see it's considering this part but suppose the solution is found in some another path as it's considering one path at a time and goes on exploring it so it is not considering another part that there there may be a better solution so we cannot say that the first search is complete or optimal as optimal it is not optimal because it is not giving you the optimal path clear so the first search is neither complete nor optimal so we have seen that advantage main advantage of the first search is that memory requirement is modest and time complexity is bm in the worst case and disadvantage is that it may stuck into some infinite bar branch and also it is neither complete nor optimal okay so question from today's lecture that first search is optimal state true or false i'm repeating again that you need to state true or false for this statement that first search is optimal so comment your answer i'll respond to those comments so guys meet you in the next class and that will be about best first search one important algorithm of artificial intelligence so Till then, take care. Bye-bye.